Karima, good morning. Good morning. Uh, let's start with what in the world is happening with Praveen Gordon and Busisi Mkwebane. What is the basis for going back to this? This is the conundrum that uh, we need to figure out because, as you know, um, the unit that uh, was used to investigate has been found, A, to not be a rogue unit. It was legally constituted. Uh, this case uh, or this allegation has been dismissed by the former public protector, mm -hmm. Tulima Donzella, by the Nugent Commission yeah. of Inquiry into SARS, and also remember the famous... Um, bringing dramatic bringing of the charges and then the dropping of the charges. Um, and, of course, uh, the issue that um, Mr. Uh, Gordon's lawyer raised last night on ENCA was that the public protector has given them seven days mm -hmm. uh, to come up with a, an explanation about something that is almost 15 years old. Yeah. And more importantly, she doesn't actually have any evidence. This is a preliminary investigation. So Minister Gordon, uh, uh, the, the impression that one gets is that he's the poster boy for the anti-corruption campaign. No, he's like a hero he's minister the, is how we see he's him. Yeah. The, he's the person who um, spoke about the fact that there needs to be a change. And I think this is an attempt to embroil him uh, in a controversy, in, um, you know, uh, the idea that he's not above scrutiny. And I think that um, it's going to be interesting to see how Busisi Mkwebani, who's had to climb down on quite a number yeah. of other issues, for example, uh, when she conceded in court that she doesn't actually have a case uh, with relation to um, exceeding her mandate on the Reserve yes. Bank, for example. Um, so we need to ask why an institution that is meant to be looking at uh, real abuse is um, essentially harassing a minister uh, because she needs to um, decide why she finds it necessary to subpoena this minister uh, mm. in the light of the fact that her predecessor uh, had found no basis for this. Um, and she's not sharing with the public if she has any new information. In fact, according yeah. to the lawyer, um, this is a preliminary investigation and she's received a complaint. Some people are suggesting that the complaint was laid by Floyd Chivambu yeah. from mm -hmm. the EFF. Now, of course, we know that they have... Um, uh, Julius Balema called Praveen uh, Gordon a dog. Yeah. Um, they've made him a special target. There's no love lost there. Uh, yeah, yes. And so I think it's also got to do with the fact that the screws are being put on them as well, yes. particularly in the VBS yes. matter. Both Floyd and Julius are implicated through their family members. So I think it's an attempt to use the institution uh, to push back, to fight back, but to also try and sully the name of, of Praveen Gordon. And just to play devil's advocate, Karima, I mean, why would the EFF be a dog behave like a dog with a bone with this story. Is there a possibility that there is something on Praveen Gordon? Is there a possibility that there is a smudge on his credibility at some point regarding this that they are refusing to give up? Look, the, the, the most important thing here is that we need to go to the history. So why would Judge Nugent com, uh, uh, dismiss the matter? Mm -hmm. Why would the former public protector dismiss the matter? Why would Sean Abrams climb down on the matter? And these are all, um, you know, judicial processes that has been undergone. And again, this is not an investigation. The public protector says this is a prelim pre mm -hmm. preliminary investigation. Um, so we don't even know what the basis is for her to argue this matter. Now, we've heard that the EFF is trying to revive the idea of this rogue unit. The Sunday Times have had to apologize yes. for writing yes. this. So it is, I think, a political stunt on the part of the EFF to try and um, uh, attack the reform process under Minister um, Gordon, but also um, attack on Cyril Ramaphosa. And I remember they've also claim that um, Minister Gordon is effectively the Prime Minister that is mm. running some sort of cabal mm. uh, in the African National Congress. So I am unsurprised by the EFF's efforts to try and sully the name of Praveen Gordon. Um, but the public protector is actually the 
person that needs to take South Africa into her confidence and tell us why she What's believes now? that mm -hmm. this minister has a case to answer. What did they bring And the interesting thing is yeah. she's refusing to engage with the public on the matter. She said she's not doing this uh, through the public. And yet the fact that she subpoenaed him was leaked through the media. And many believe that the leak came from her office. Okay, so we're back. And this could backfire very badly on the EFF as well. Now let's, take a, let's look at the other matter that the EFF is involved in. And that's Trevor Manuel taking them to court. And, uh, you know, Mbui Seni and Blosi. And this is claims about Edward Kisbet. And for those of us who, who, who aren't very familiar with what kind of relationship he has with, with, with Trevor Manuel and this process, I mean, just enlighten us on what is the basis of their complaint and, and what they're saying about their claim. Well, I think what Trevor Manuel is saying is that um, they have defamed him. Yeah. They have suggested that he was involved in a corrupt process because they believe that Edward Kiesvetter and he have um, relations um, uh, with each other in terms of uh, business and family. Now, Trevor Manuel has made it explicitly clear that he has no business relationship with mm -hmm. Edward Kiesvetter. I asked Mr. Kiesvetter when we interviewed him when he was appointed as the new mm -hmm. SARS commissioner, and he said, you know what, Karima, uh, my conscience is clear. I'm going into the job. I'm not going to be distracted by this, but I think it's an attempt again by the EFF uh, to focus on SARS. Now, remember, yeah. Julius Malema had trouble with his taxes, um, and more importantly, the funder of the EFF who initially gave them the money to register for the political, um, to register them as a political party to contest the election is none other than uh, Mr. Mazzotti, who is known uh, to be a secret smuggler. So the EFF was actually funded by uh, a criminal uh, when they started and they claim um, they didn't know who he was. Um, and what is really interesting is that they have targeted the revenue services. Yeah. You know, for okay. example, Mr. Mpofu, uh, who is uh, also a leading EFF member, is defending Tom Moyane mm -hmm. um, and tried to defend him at the, at the Nugent Commission of Inquiry. Judge Nugent would have none of the dramatics of the yeah. EFF and the politics of spectacle and dismissed it out of hand. And now Mr. Manuel is saying, well, if you're saying that I have a corrupt relationship, come and prove it. Um, and he said specifically he wants to serve his country and uh, he can't do this if um, this is not removed from the EFF website. Um, so now the EFF has to put their money where their mouths yeah. are. Oh, and the SARS connection, hashtag SARS connection is what we're going to see. Thank you for making sense of all of that for us. That's uh, Karima Brown just uh, touching on both these uh, big stories of the morning and explaining what is the, the backstory to them. Now